Well, the popularity of virtual reality technology continues to sweep across the world, but this time it's going beyond mainstream re recreation. As Karina Huber reports from New York, a virtual technology is expected to shake up the journalism industry. This is Project Syria, a film commissioned by the World Economic Forum. The piece recreates a real explosion in Aleppo, Syria, using footage and sound from the actual event and surrounding area. Through digital manipulation, warfare is transformed into virtual reality, enabling viewers to experience the actual explosion. So the idea was to um, really drive home the emotional impact of what happened. So, yes, the graphics are not, don't, look, don't look realistic. You can tell that they're sort of computer avatars, and yet the feeling of it is incredibly real and very emotionally powerful. But is it journalism? Executive producer Jamie Pallett insists it is. There are some people who draw the line at recreations per se, because that's not what actually happened. We, you know, we think that... Um, there's absolutely a place and a need for this because it's, it's a way of telling certain stories that couldn't otherwise be told. Virtual reality as journalism seems to have the approval of reputable news outlets like the New York Times and The Guardian. Both newspapers are experimenting with it. So is one of the world's leading journalism schools. Columbia University's Graduate School of Journalism is getting in on virtual reality. Its Center for Digital Journalism has teamed up with public broadcaster PBS and an interactive digital agency to produce Ebola Outbreak, the broadcaster's first virtual reality documentary. You're in the village of Capandu in eastern Sierra Leone. This is the calm before the storm. The film, also released on Facebook, uses 360-degree cameras to show where the recent Ebola outbreak likely began and why it spread so quickly. The way it's shot allows the viewer to watch the scene from different angles, making it more immersive. Research director Claire Wardle says Columbia is exploring virtual reality journalism because of its potential impact. Certainly the power is... How does it feel to be in a solitary confinement cell? How does it feel like to be in a refugee camp in Jordan? So it plays that role which is different, I think, from a very passive consumption of news. It's you're, you're placed in the scene. At the moment, it's an investment in an uncertain future. Right now, the cost of production is high and audiences are small. It's still tiny. It's really tiny and it's, a, it's a still very much an elite audience. Uh, the question is, will this or when will this hit mainstream? It may be in its infancy now, but with so much investment in the technology, it appears virtual reality journalism could become a reality. In some places, it already is. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.